Okay, everybody, it looks like I'm live. If you want to give me a thumbs up or I don't know that we have thumbs ups, but uh, let me know if the sound is good. Uh, things on my end look okay. Um, and we'll get started. Um, excellent. So <clears throat> I've, I've discovered that apparently I love the word excellent. I use it so much. Um, okay. Um, uh, Hello, Slots Enthusiasts. How are you? It's great to hang out with you again for another Professor Slots podcast and uh, podcast episode and live, screen, live stream. Uh, today, we're going to be diving into my third easy step to immediately improve your slot machine gambling performance. This time, it's all about you. Each Slots Enthusiast has their own wants, needs, and desires. What do you want from your assessed casino? and chosen slot machine. How can you master casino slots and win your way to success if you don't know what you want? So focus and win. That's coming up. But first, if you're with us during the live stream, make sure to say hello in the live chat and let us know, let me know, uh, let us know where you are at and where you play slots. I'll check in with the live stream in a few moments. And as usual, be sure to ask your slots related questions. Hi, my name is John Friedel. Welcome to Professor Slots, a channel that's all about mastering casino slots so you can win your way to success. If you've ever walked into a casino, looked around and wondered what's going on with slots, I can help. So thanks again for joining us today. Um, whether you're listening on the podcast, watching this video later, or here with us here with us on the live stream, I'm glad you're all here. Now, um, this is a new time. Uh, and there may be, as I mentioned last time, there shouldn't be too much of a problem for anybody except the people here in the live stream because we, I, I pulled it in two hours um, because middle of the afternoon Eastern time uh, gets to be a little bit late even in California, um, uh, you know, at lunchtime basically. So um, not basically, but, but up until, you know, people have already started their day. Uh, East, Eastern time, Central time, Mountain time, Pacific time. It's just a couple hours too late. And after more than six months, I've decided to pull it in a little bit based on some recommendations I had gotten to make it a little more convenient for everybody. Um, but uh, there are our usuals on the live chat may have a harder time of it. So I'm going to uh, take a moment and see looks like we've got oh, nine concurrent viewers uh, so um, you know that is uh, to ch specifically see who is is not is not here I see a lot of familiar names um, but one concern I've had was not to be too inconvenient for all of the dedicated you know audience that have been coming to these but also um, hopefully uh, see who else over time, it won't be necessarily today, um, but over time, uh, see if we can draw a larger crowd because kind of how this all works with YouTube is the more people that make it to the live stream, the it more it's um, sort of pushed out there by YouTube with its algorithm to be seen by more people and then the next time, you know, they show up. So it's all an, a system and you know me, um, let's see if we can't find a winning, winning advantage, uh, whether it be slots or not. Um, so, uh, before I get to the chat, uh, today is Saturday, June 13th, two, 2020. And this morning, the American Gaming Association's live casino tracker shows 621 U S casinos have reopened and 368 remained remain closed. That's right, another 102 casinos opened in the last week. So we're up from 52% last Saturday, last Saturday morning, to nearly two thirds of US casinos having reopened. Uh, for updates, um, visit, and this is going to be in the uh, all the different places. It'll be in the YouTube uh, description, it'll be in the podcast uh, uh, episode, uh, professorsots.com slash episode, I think we're at 95. Um, that'll be, link will be there, or you can just remember uh, professorslots.com slash tracker. Okay, let's check in with the live stream to say hello and maybe ask a few, answer a few questions, quick questions. 
I'm talking to you, Chip, um, before getting into today's topic. Uh, so uh, Chip says hello. Uh, he's usually here early. He wants, it's a good idea to say that Ohio casinos, which is where he is in and I am in, although we're on two different ends of the state, uh, are waiting to open June 19th. Uh, and uh, there's a nice little hooray there. So, um, and he, we have been having some side conversations about some physics problems, but I won't bore you with that. Uh, I assume that's not an actual question, uh, Chip, uh, having to do with um, uh, pondering whether Navier-Stokes equations, uh, which is something from fluid mechanics, can have anything to do with the random number generator. Um, you know, that reminds me of a quick story uh, where I went to Gamble Palooza. I don't know that they're holding those anymore, but it was held um, at Foxwoods in Connecticut. And I, I met, and basically, it was the recreational gambling podcasters uh, who mostly play table games, um, but they do win uh, free slot play, so they did have an interest in slots a little bit. Um, and uh, I was there, and, and they were there as well as many of them were there, as well as um, there's a group photo and articles on it but um, that I put out there. But uh, <laughs> there are, some of their audience who could make it were also there, and I got in, into a conversation with a young woman and her, and her uh, boyfriend um, who had taken a lot of physics, and they were a professor, although not a professor of physics, and we were talking about quantum physics and some other stuff, this Navier-Stokes equation stuff, and 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 after a while she just sort of sat back and she's like you know i never really expected that when i came to this i'd be talking about physics and i'm like okay <laughs> um as you might have been able to tell i talk about it a lot it's a love um right uh then i told a couple of puns which hopefully won't get me started otherwise you know i'll do terrible things or good things to my to this episode um lois and dave are here they're in ontario uh, Denise uh, is, um, yep, uh, Denise is in Texas, Gamble's in Oklahoma. Uh, and thank you, uh, Lois and Dave, for the feedback on volume and video. Make sure I'm in the camera. Uh, David is here uh, from Shawnee, Oklahoma. Uh, good morning. Yes, good morning. And, um, oh, you like the new time. Uh, great. I'm, I'm, I'm so happy. Uh, we'll see how it all works out. I think we're going to be better off, um, but it takes some adjusting. Um, like I have left two hours less time to get ready. <laughs> um, uh, thanks, Denise. Um, so Tony is in Atlanta. Um, welcome. Uh, great. Uh, and Paula is here. Um, <laughs> uh, and um, she's trying to remember to update her phone calendar to remind her that uh, it's at noon that we have this Eastern time, not uh, 2 p.m. Eastern time. Um, okay, it's uh, so I'm, I'm glad that it's not uh, just uh, dead air on the live chat. Um, excellent. Uh, just love that word, excellent. Um, let's. So we've checked in, and uh, that was <laughs> excellent. Um, today's topic is a question and answer session about identifying your gambling goals. It's my third easy step for improving your gambling goals. If you've joined my email list, I've shared this step with you. Um, it's based on a top article on my website, uh, right next to assessing casinos for success and choosing candidate slot machines, which I have covered here on the last two live streams and podcast episodes. Well, I am, I'm kind of reviewing them, uh, which I'll get into. Um, the intent of this program is to answer questions and maybe talk about some of the stuff in my articles and videos that didn't make it into it, might become something else, and I'm checking for interest in covering some sort of things uh, that relate. So besides being an article, I've created a YouTube video. Um, let me see if I can fix this a little bit. Okay. Um, da, 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 da. Yep. Uh, besides being an article, I've created a YouTube video for this step. It's that important. And it's one of the first things that I did. Uh, you can easily find it near the top of my YouTube 
um, main page, just under assessing casinos and choosing slot machines. I think it says start here and then it's um, assessing casinos and the next one down is choosing slot machines and the next one is identifying your gambling goals. So it's really primary. Um, and uh, for you listening on the podcast, I covered this uh, primary topic, uh, identifying gamb gambling goals, way back in episode number five. So as with my earlier live streams, my intent here is not to present this topic for the first time, but rather to review it briefly to see if you have any questions. If you haven't seen or read it, don't worry, it's what a brief review that I'm about to give is for. But my review isn't meant to replace the original, so I recommend that you take a look at it or read it or, or watch it or listen to it. Um, another reason I'm reviewing identifying uh, goals here is because there are some, call them advanced topics, which didn't make it into the article. Uh, and we have, we're going through some strange times with our national crisis. And so, you know, some of these advanced topics really couldn't be part of that original article because it was before the pandemic that I wrote it. So um, we can discuss how it applies now and we will. So uh, finally, I'll discuss how a topic connects to other aspects of what I teach, uh, which later will only be available here and in the online course I'm developing. Now, I might have a link to another article in the first article, uh, but that doesn't really say how it all fits together. Um, uh, you can go read it. So, so the online course, I think, will provide some value because it'll put together kind of a bullet list of topics and how they all interrelate. And it can be a little harder to do that with 75 articles, uh, soon to be 300 articles. Uh, I don't know about soon, but, uh, you know, to, to give you all the helpful information free, but then to organize it for you in an online course uh, to match your specific needs. Okay, so... Um, uh, okay, so enough on why I hold a weekly live stream Q&A session uh, on with the show. Uh, let me double check to see if anybody dropped in uh, later on the... Oh, Jan, you made it. Uh, Texas Tootsie. I was wondering if you'd be able to make it. She is in Texas and she plays in Louisiana. Um, good. <laughs> I feel better. Um, let's see here. Uh, mostly identifying your gambling goals um, is an introduction to the three most common gambling goals of going to a casino for entertainment value, complimentary gifts or comps, if you know the term, and take home money. Uh, just to be clear, before I talk about these three goals in the article, I, I start going um, these three goals in the article. There's three articles the last two episodes have been about those other two, and this one has three goals that I cover, the most common ones. So before I go over those three goals in the article, I start by going over how bankroll size doesn't matter. It's not uncommon. It's not uncommon for slots enthusiasts to feel some pressure, maybe from peers, maybe from some other reason. I try not to put any pressure on anybody. Uh, they feel some pressure to make bigger bets then they can afford to lose. Uh, that's what the golden rule, right? Don't make more, uh, don't bet more than you can safely afford to lose. And, but some people feel a pressure of that. Uh, this might even be where gambling abuses can occur or start. Uh, not that I'm a medical professional can necessarily help with that. I can only provide resources. Um, so slots enthusiasts who don't know their gambling goals will tend to lose their focus. For instance, maybe they enter a casino and try to carefully win take-home money, right? Focused. But then they win a big wad of cash uh, and they forget all about the money management skills like slipping a certain percentage of the winnings into a lockbox or designated deposit only pocket, you know, the money management skills. Uh, let me see if I can do this here. I'm, so what I'm talking about is, uh, you know, something like the gamble box and or something like, uh, what is this, the something 2000, where you have a slit in the top, what is it, uh, winner's bank, 
200. Uh, and there's a slot in the top, you fold a piece of a dollar into it, or $10 or $100, and you put it in there and you push it in. And I'll make a video about that later so you can see, you know, how many bills of whatever type you can get in there. I just have to go to the bank when I can and get like a stack of $1 bills so I can show you how it kind of works. Because once they start getting full, um, what do you do then? Uh, but I've written elsewhere in my money management skills article about using um, a pocket. It's just a habit, um, you know, you dis self-discipline uh, and use a pocket. And it's a deposit-only pocket until you leave the casino. It, but some people will like that. So I will um, uh, I will do a video, an article on it sometime because, uh, you know, whatever works and whatever you're, whatever you're comfortable with. Um, but I've successfully done it with pocket in my jeans. Um, big, oh, it's old, it holds more, <laughs> um, uh, but I will do a video some other time about that. There's a bunch of videos I need to do. Um, so slots enthusiasts, as I said, don't, uh, who don't know their gambling goals will tend to lose their focus. For instance, many, uh, maybe they enter a casino and try carefully, uh, win take home money and then they win that take home money and forget all about their goal. Um, they forget about money management skills. They forget about using a lockbox or a designated deposit-only pocket. Instead, they switch their goal, maybe not even realizing it, um, just you know, not aware that what they were trying to do was like a goal, and, and now they don't have that goal because they'll take that money, and they'll switch over um, uh, their goal to spending it for entertainment purposes. Well, I just made this money, and now I'm going to spend it. You know, it's 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 a switching of the goals, and you know, feel free, uh, feel free to do what you want. But if you do have that goal, I am pointing out, you need to focus on it um, because uh, you know they switch to 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 spending it all for entertainment and earning comps. So then, when they get home, they feel bad. They wonder what happened to their take home money. In effect, they didn't stick to their original goal. I'm not saying you have to stick to your original goal, but if that's your intent, this is what happens when you don't. Uh, and you know, maybe your goal is to win money and then spend it. But if that wasn't your goal, you know, um, you know, choose a goal that you stick with. You'll reach it, right? <laughs> um, doing uh, uh, during our casino reopenings uh, and trying to connect this, to, you know to what's happening now. During our casino reopenings, we're seeing some casinos increasing the first odds of winning, that is to say, if you win, while decreasing the second odds of winning, which is to say how much you win, right? If you win, and then if you win, how much you win. Odds are calculated twice, uh, all right when you push the button. Uh, so for slots enthusiasts with the goal of winning entertainment value, that approach by the casino is of the reopened casino is perfect. Slot enthusiasts with this gambling goal love winning and don't think and, and don't mind paying for it. For them and casinos, it's a win win situation. I could wish more casinos understood this. Again, I haven't covered everything from the article and video, so please check it out. And as I mentioned, it doesn't cover a few other slightly more advanced but related topics. For instance, I don't cover other gambling goals besides entertainment, comps, and take-home cash. But I assure you, they exist. So let me ask you, yes, you in the live stream chat, you in the video watching later, or many, so many of you listening on this podcast episode, what's your gambling goal? Is it entertainment, complimentary gifts, take-home cash? Or is it something else? Let me know in the live chat uh, during this live stream. Let me know in the comments section if you're watching this video later. And for you listening on the podcast, well, odds are you're probably driving. <laughs> so I don't know quite what to tell you. Um, just keep your eyes on the road and maybe email me later <laughs> if you remember to. Um, be safe. Uh, so let's switch over to the live chat again and see what they've got to say. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Let's see. Anybody want to share what their gambling goal is? I mean, for some of you, I know, uh, and 
uh, you know, you, you've shared that with me previously on previous chats. You've shared that with me. Um, hi, hanging with, with Linda. Uh, so if you have a goal uh, when you go to a casino, entertainment, comps, uh, uh, um, a winning take-home cash, um, share it. Uh, now, Linda, I think you're probably there to get a good video right <laughs> um you know she's a uh um youtube creator right um and and uh you know there are have been other uh wonderful youtube creators uh in the chat in the past and some not so wonderful uh and and let's see oh <laughs> denise um uh has shared that let's see there's a a round face with Money, dollar signs in the eyes, green in the tongue. It's got a dollar sign on it, followed by looks like a cash with some wings on it, and then a bag of money with a dollar sign on it. So I'm going to take that as money is her gambling goal. Uh, good luck with um, a Vegas uh, on Tuesday. I wish you every success um, uh, for your YouTube channel, Linda. Um, uh, for those who are listening on podcast uh, later, uh, uh, her name is her her handle on YouTube is Hanging with Linda, and she has been a delight uh, compared to others um, on this. So, if you uh, are interested, um, look her up. Thank you, thank you, Linda. Uh, so, Paula says uh, mine is partly entertainment and partly supporting my best friend's business. <laughs> Uh, just to be clear, Paula doesn't buy my stuff, but she might edit my book. <laughs> so she's she has, uh, uh, you know, we've wor been working on maybe her being a moderator, except I hadn't uh, had YouTube set up properly. Uh, and uh, certainly she's done some fine editing. Apparently I have uh, a, a huge fondness for commas. And uh, while we didn't remove every comma in my book and then just replace the ones that were necessary, that was much closer than what I had done originally. Um, good morning, Joe. Uh, <laughs> Joe is in California. Uh, Joe, we're asking, I'm asking everybody what their gambling goals are. Uh, my research has shown the most common one is entertainment. The second most uh, c common, it's kind of tied after that, is is comps, earning comps, um, and then uh, 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 making money. And then there's the less common ones, which is what I'm going to be covering next. Um, so Linda's goal is to come home from <laughs> with more money uh, than uh, than you came with came to the casino with. Uh, staying uh, staying within a budget is important. Yeah, absolutely, uh, uh, absolutely. Uh, and we'll talk a little bit about how I see people responding to that um, uh, when it's my turn. Um, let's see, Chip says, is it appropriate to hold to the casino and have multiple goals or should you concentrate on just one? Right. So, uh, this article that I have in video and, and podcast episode and all that identifying your gambling goals is, uh, is straightforward. I might even say simple, right? Um, some of the advanced topics, that I mentioned that I don't talk about. One of them uh, would be, so what if you want to do all of them? And my recommendation for people who are kind of just getting started and kind of trying to do this is just pick one goal, get good at it, then pick another goal, get good at that, and then either learn the third most common one uh, out of entertainment uh, comps or making money and learn how to do that one because if you know how to do each one individually then you can start combining them now you know this assumes a certain amount of patience and, and not just jumping right in it also assumes that um, you know I know I know Chip you've been playing for years uh, so it is conceivable that you could um, focus that you, you have focused on two or three of these in the past and then you start beginning to see the connections but for people who are just getting started, if you want to earn comps, you need players club points. So you have to spend money. But then the other goal is to make take have take home money. So it's like they're kind of mutually exclusive. And if you um, 
you know, want to. Thank you, Linda. Uh, if you if you want to do both, you have to sort of figure out each well enough to understand the overlap. Uh, like, you know, and 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 one of the how I figured out how to do all three at once uh, was to go high limits. You know, I both took home money and you know cycled. $175,000 in a year minimum to get to uh, um, seven stars under the Caesars reward system at that time. They've made some changes and things, particularly this year, for how many credits, how many points you need to get over to a certain tier, particularly top tier. So there are ways to do it, and there may be more ways than that, and I'll get into that for a little bit, uh, into a little bit. Um, Yep. So, okay. So let me get back to kind of these offshoots, uh, uh, corollaries, uh, advanced topics. Um, you know, if you're just getting started with this concept, uh, then, you know, read the article and get the basics. Uh, and then we'll talk about how to advance from there. Um, and these are good questions. I, I thought of these in advance and uh, made some notes. So let's go over some of these in a little more detail for you. Um, so, uh, that was excellent. Love that word. Um, okay. So you've shared, you've shared your gambling goals. Um, I should share my goals. My slot gambling goals are of the less common variety than most. Um, and I'll explain why, as we've discussed off and on, nobody else talks about slots the way I do. Um, yes, slots related websites with somewhat questionable ethics, will offer to talk about winning slot strategies after you pay them, one topic at a time, and none of them free. Then there's the wonderful, I'm looking at you, Linda, there's the wonderful, and of course, not so wonderful, I don't see anybody like that here, um, <laughs> on the live stream, on the live chat, um, and then there's the not so wonderful YouTube creators who sometimes talk about winning slot strategies. Not all of them will, uh, but some will try to talk about what they've learned. Most just ignore the possibility because, again, that's not their goal. Let me explain. Many YouTube creators show edited or, rarely, unedited videos of their playing slot machines in a casino that they have a contract with. These creators are offering content to slots enthusiasts at home, not at a casino, with those slot enthusiasts with an entertainment goal. All right, they're getting what they want because they're watching someone play a slot machine. And that's the goal. That's the market. That's, that's what the intent is, is to provide a service to those entertainment goal slots enthusiasts. But, um, and, and, and typically, if they talk about winning strategies, and most don't, uh, it's mostly myths and guesses mixed in with a few pearls of wisdom. But again, any such channels are trying to talk about how to win uh, because that's are not talking about how to win because that's not their goal uh, and I'm happy for them I'm, I'm happy for them for how big their channels are not jealous at all <laughs> well done fellow YouTube creators um, but again my goal is to educate slots enthusiasts on how to win at slots where winning depends on their gambling goal not just money um, yes my gambling goal is to learn now I uh, now, despite what I say about no one else doing this, there are actually quite a few slots enthusiasts who know one or two of my winning strategies. I mean, they've figured it out themselves at their favorite casinos, but they didn't start a business to share their winning slot strategies like I have and am. And why would they know more than one winning strategy, right? Because once you've figured out, for instance, the best times to win on a specific slot machine at a nearby casino, why would you ever go to another casino or even another slot machine? Believe me, I came very close to doing this myself during my 90 taxable jackpots in nine months period. But because I have a learning gambling goal, I had to stand up, try other slot machines, and win. Sometimes, often, not always. I was learning. Um, I'd go to another casino to figure out how to win there and win a car, all while still winning jackpots at the first casino. 
But I still have a question hanging out there from a moment ago. Why would a slots enthusiast who already knows how to win, and there are more than a few of them, including more than one slots enthusiast on the live chat show uh, uh, right now, in the live chat right now, since a, um, why would um, that, you know who you are, uh, and I know who you are, uh, why would each player ever stand up from their winning slot machine where they are basically wearing out the chair and, well, try something else where they will likely make less money. I'll tell you why. Because casinos change over time. What if that winning slot machine is replaced and another winning slot machine needs to be found? What if that casino gets torn down and moved down the road slightly to be a little further away from flooding caused by the Ohio River? (laughs) <laughs> These are real examples, by the way. Or what if the casino gets new management? Remember, besides money management techniques, focusing on what you want, gambling record keeping, and <laughs> a whole lot more, my winning slot strategies are based on taking advantage of common casino business practices. And a new owner means a change of which business practices might be there to take advantage of. So then those slots those slots enthusiasts who used to have one valuable winning slot strategy that worked now needs to figure out another slot strategy to use to win at slots because the situation has changed. This is one of my, what's the phrase, audience segments, uh, an, an inexpensive consult with me to explore their best options for getting back to winning or wearing out my or or wearing out my book, Learning to Win. Hey, the audio is available now. Um, so uh, that was that was in this morning's um, newsletter. Um, I'm having some trouble p- putting links into the chat because it kind of messes up. Uh, I have to figure out how to put links in. Um, it is available uh, in the description uh, and as well as the podcast, the link to uh, the audio version of my Winning to Win book, which I've been working so hard at. Um, uh, but they could uh, wear out my book uh, because they study so study it so hard over months instead of having a consult with me and kind of getting back on track, uh, if possible. And they'll, uh, you know, then they're back at it uh, until the next casino change. As I've said, my gambling goal is to learn. I've calculated how much I can win uh, myself, uh, and it's not hardly going to put a dent in my student loans. I mean, it's nice to have an extra 30 grand a year, but a third of it is comps, which I don't have much use for. My family is getting a little tired of high-end kitchen electronics. I mean, how many electronic bread makers do you need? Although they wouldn't mind a bunch of, they wouldn't mind a bunch more cruises to the Caribbean, the Western Caribbean. They tell me, specifically, uh, personally, I'd rather go back to cruising the Atlantic, uh, Alaskan coast. That was wonderful, but maybe a touch cold for my family. Uh, finally, uh, even in the summer. Finally, uh, when everyone asks me. Uh, Oh, any of you ask me when I'm going to the casino, it seems like they're talking to me like I have an entertainment comps or money-making uh, gambling goal. I don't. Um, I don't mind, but it's not my focus. I, I gave those up, right? If you don't focus on your gambling goal, then you know you don't know when you win. And so I don't go for that. Um, I, I don't go for entertainment comps, money making game go. It happens incidentally, but it's not my focus. So um, I go to learn something new so I can help you. If I find a winning slot machine or a new way to win or confirm a way to win I already know about at another but at a new casino, I make a note, uh, record some audio in my car in the parking lot, and somehow, some way, share it with you. Or maybe I'll report on something else that's interesting, like a new kiosk style where the the software shows things we never had before, like a map of the casino and where every slot machine by dominate, denomination and name is located. I saw that at Harris, uh, North Kansas City. That was wonderful. I'd like to see more. I'd like to see more of that. Um, maybe I'll get involved in the slots tournament um, or you know how a specific casino has a nice staff or restaurant options, whatever I can learn that would help you. Uh, Even now, as I build up these 
reviews that turn into videos. Sometimes, eventually, they will. Uh, I got a whole long list of videos to do, uh, and or on the podcast episodes, um, I, I reference those to to you know. I get questions. We had a question this morning about Rivers Casino downtown Pittsburgh. Uh, and I was like, well, here's my review. And, you know, they were bad then with the reopening. They, they're they're not looser, they're tighter. Uh, and this is why. You know, they were already tight. And if they have to be tighter, then it's just awful, right? And so I doubt I'll ever get to 1,000 casinos. And if I do get to 1,000, there's 989 in the United States, um, depending on how you count them. I'm not counting card rooms. Well, I'm sort of ca- counting card rooms. So anyway, uh, depending on how you count them, there's... 989 casinos in the United States and commercial or tribal. And I'll never get to all, all of that. And if I do ever get to all of them by some miracle, um, one every weekend is 52 a year. <laughs> Even if I did two, it would be like 100 a year. It would take me, you know, 100 years. Uh, Even if I did do that, it would take a long time, and it wouldn't be like this year. So uh, I am learning. I am trying to capture things to learn. And I'm trying to share that with you as best I can. And that's my goal. So when you ask me if I'm going to go to a casino, um, I'm going to ask myself, first thing, what might I learn? I can go to explore. You know, what's a Riverboat casino like? What is a casino like right after the reopening? What is it like two weeks after the reopening? And how has it changed? You know, I ask myself these questions so that I can provide answers when I am asked. Uh, And this is how you learn. After a couple of years, you've, I've, you know, hundreds of things, and I steadily share that with you. So let's get back uh, to where I was at. Um, so, Chip, I hope that you understand that, yes, you can combine multiple goals. It's an advanced topic. Um, uh, and so you, you said, have what if you want multiple goals, or should you concentrate? And I'm like, yes, first you concentrate on one, then switch over to multiple. And how soon you do that? You know, decide on what your goals are, including, you know, feel free to email me or contact me. If you have a less than common goal and you want to combine it with something else, and I can share some thoughts on that. Um, I still have a little bit of bandwidth about answering emails every day. Um, uh, sorry about, uh, was it Tuesday and Wednesday, about being late on emails. The power went out. Uh, we had a big storm run through, and the power went out for a little while, and <laughs> I wasn't going to type it all into my phone. Uh uh, long, long emails. Um, so I waited for the computer connection to come back up. Uh, let's see. Uh, David says, my idea is to keep trying to hit the bigger jackpot so I can take a vacation. Um, yeah. Uh, so if you're, uh, so David, if you're going to, um, try to make money to take a vacation, have you also tried to make the comps? Because, um, You know, I don't, I like the cruises, right? My family loves the cruises, particularly to the warmer weather places. That's travel. That's a vacation. Um, Also, did you know that the cruises that you win from Concedo let you go, you know, by yourself? Who's, I'm not saying there's that many people who travel and go on vacation by themselves. But if you go on a cruise, you have to pay for two because room occupancy is two. Uh, And so you would have to, if you're alone, you have to pay for that other person who, you know, you could have taken. Um, uh, But casino uh, free comps of the cruise uh, don't have that restriction. So it can be just you. The ones I've gone on uh, didn't have that restriction. And that was the Norwegian uh, relationship. I know they have other cruise lines, um, but that should be common to any casino. And I was, you know, doing the Caesars Entertainment, uh, um, seven stars, seven day trip, uh, say seven day cruise. If you like that sort of vacation, then increasing your comps to the, you know, second from the top tier. Some places have four tiers. Some places have five tiers. The second from the top usually has the three day cruise. Uh, the Top one usually has the seven-day cruise. Um, and uh, do you like cruises? You know, you can get a free one. They don't pay for airfare. Uh, and there's, you know, docking fees and other things they can't pay for. But, you know, 
it isn't just for you, is it? It isn't just an option of take-home money, but the comps can help you out. Now, there's also things like going to their sister casino in another state, and they'll fly you, and that's generally free, and they'd love to have you at, you know, Rivers Pittsburgh has Sugar House in Illinois, I think it is, and they're owned by the same company, and they do a lot of back and forth of sending their and people who they give free trips to over to the other casino halfway across the country, um, almost. Uh, and so, you know, if you're interested in vacations, another route is consider comps and what it would take to get there. Um, uh, so Linda says casinos will change it up. Uh, aren't they, don't they? I mean, I, I, of course, as you know, you get to know hosts and stuff and, um, fam, you know, casino staff uh, at the better casinos, um, you know, they become like family. Right. They, they they walk their way through this crowd of people standing around you. Uh, and after you put your, you know, 30 seconds after you put your players club card in the machine um, and, you know, there's everybody's like, oh, I have a question for you. And, and they're just ignored because that host is coming to me. Uh, and I'm, 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 I'm trying to say they're good at their jobs. I'm trying to say they, um, you know, like uh, to help. Uh, people specifically, they they try to f- consider comps that people like. Um, and then they try to find a new one because they just gave out the one that people like, and now they have to find another one people like. And they they just work at it. All right, um, kitchen electronics, high end, right? Uh, Hamilton Beach, bread makers, you know, uh, just uh, convection o- ovens. Uh, um, wine coolers. Do you see how you sort of get into some of the comps that are, um, I don't mean to change over to a discussion about comps, but, um, you know, if that's your goal, um, you sort of have to want what they provide. And it can, you know, I've listed out a long list of them in my book, and, and I think it's even in one of my uh, articles, about what you might get. But you have to decide if it's something you want. Um, what am I going to do with a third bread maker? You know, family's like, enough with the bread makers. <laughs> um, yes, but they do change it up. They do work hard to have interesting things. I've gone to some casinos where they offered a blanket, and it kind of shredded a little bit, you know, it left pieces everywhere. Um, uh, I didn't try washing it with, you know, my whites or anything like that because I had a feeling I knew what would happen. Uh, but uh, they, you know... And that was the lowest, you know, you sign up for something and um, they try to give you something, uh, you know, second tier. Uh, but uh, when they, you know, good casinos were put together, even that place, um, I, you know, I had a higher tier, tier ranking. It was Caesars and I was seven stars, Southern Indiana at the time. And uh, they, they, one of the upper tier gifts that you just stopped by and got was a glass pitcher. Um, you know, for pouring, and uh, some glasses for it. And I was like, really? This is the high-level stuff? Hmm. So, uh, again, if you have a goal, then you know why you have a goal. Uh, it's hard to have a goal where you, you know, don't want what that goal gives you. So choose. Uh, <laughs> Texas Tootsie is uh, telling me that her number one goal is learning to win. And yes, uh, as I mentioned, people are out there um, who are doing this. Uh, and I wouldn't say it's my entire audience. That would, you know, it's a small group of people, really, relatively. So I do try to, um, you know, I talk about if you're going to walk into a casino, look around and wonder what's going on. I can help. All right. If you walk into a casino and you don't want to do any of that, how much can I help? You know, uh, so so I'm pulling in people who are learning to win, look online, and they find me, and I just hope it's enough to um, you know build a business on. A lot more people will go to uh, watching someone play slots in a casino and watching the video, but would they buy a fifteen hundred dollar online course? Uh, don't worry. <laughs> uh, um, it won't start out that much. But if people are winning, you know, $20,000 a year, I have to set my price point, right? It's something. Uh, <laughs> see, now Tex- Texas Jan, Texas Tootsie, is, has a number second, number two goal, which is to have fun. 
So she's learning and having fun. Um, I love learning. It's fun, you know. Uh, so going to a casino, um, I don't really like the smoke, if there's smoke. Um, I don't really like crowds of people. Um, gives me less options on which slot machines I can play. Uh, so there's there's downsides to casinos for me. Uh, yeah, And you see some things sometimes in casinos, not really a safety concern, but you see some people, um, you're not sure if they have a home. Um, it's open 24 hours, right? As long as they keep moving, don't sleep. Uh, and, you know, while I'm sympathetic, uh, I do see, you know, that, that you go home and it's kind of like hard to see that side of humanity. Uh, so, so yeah, um, focus on your goal. Uh, that's what you need. So, Chip, uh, <laughs> whenever I see Chip is about ready to say, something i haven't read his comment but it's like two sections it's always really good questions he's one of those people who's really good uh, at slots been doing it for a long time and he has these detailed questions uh and i do appreciate you put them a little later in the chat so i can say hello to everybody and then not skip yours and then eh, forget it like i've done twice now <sighs> Um, right. Chip says, I have seen many people with maybe a small bankroll being betting a quarter and looking for maybe a little extra cash when they leave. Yeah. Their goal is um, is to have fun. And I can tell they are indeed smiling. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, they're the most satisfied of all slots players. The, You know, not to quote my own book, but the parking lot is full of cars uh, owned by people who are there to do that and they enjoy it and that's that's going that's going to pay for everything right uh chip says his goal is comp points for upper tier um and so yeah that's that's right cycling bankroll cycling is very important um yet always looking for cash wins and beneficial promotions right uh and you know if you're if if you're going to win comps, and a lot of this stuff is a kitchen appliances and barbecue sets and this and that and the other thing, uh, you might want to have a spare bedroom. I mean, it's, it, it wouldn't take long to fill it. And that's and regifting is a wonderful regifting the family and friends is a wonderful thing. Um, yeah, I have uh, in my Facebook. Uh, not everybody goes to my Facebook profile, my fix my Facebook pro, uh, page. Um, I have groups, uh, and those are far more popular. It's something the way Facebook handles uh, pages that doesn't get a lot of attention, um, although I, you know, watch that as much as anything else. But if you look in the photos on my Professor Slots uh, page, you will find um, you will find photos, not recent, but going back in time, where I just took photos one after the other of comps. You know, I'd, I'd win it, put it on the on the casino carpet, take a photo, pick it up, move on. And uh, I thought about once of having a game about, um, you know, tell me which casino this is based on the carpet. <laughs> uh, one's Foxwoods, one's Southern Indiana, a lot of them are horseshoe, uh, Cincinnati back when it was a horseshoe. Um, so, uh, yeah, if your goal, and just to sort of get away from today's topic of identifying gambling goals, um, a little bit, uh, bankroll cycling is when you, let's say you put in a hundred bucks into the slot machine and you p spend a hundred bucks exactly, but then you still have a hundred bucks left, right? So uh, that means you may be on a slot machine that doesn't give out you know, hand pays, uh, but it gives out enough wins to n basically fluctuate around the bankroll amount that you originally put in. And there, and then you got a problem, all right? Because then you have to sit there for however many hours that it lasts and try not to take out your, your uh, player's club card and all these other tips I have for you. Um, uh, you know, try not to use up all the paper so the machine has to be serviced. Try not to, you know, voucher in, voucher out. Um, you know, try not to interrupt the session by going to the bathroom or getting something to eat. I've sat there and starved in the past, and I've 
told myself, oh, no, I've had too much caffeine, too much soda, um, because you're cycling. And there's two kinds of cycling, all right? There's the cycling where your bankroll just hovers, all right? You're not going home with money. You might be able to, maybe it fluctuates down a little bit, up a little bit, but not too much, depending on if it's a quarter machine or, or whatever. Um, I've hovered around $2,000 where the machine could only have 3,000 at once in the high limit room. And it was just like, you know, it'd drop 1,000, I'd win 2,000, you know, just fluctuate a little higher than you would on a quarter machine. Uh, and I realized, and I, my decision was, which type of winning slot machine is it? Is it the type that only cycles bankrolls? Or is it the type that only cycles bankrolls, but every hour to hour and a half, it kicks out a $20,000 jackpot, right? So you're letting the machine play. You're not losing money. You're building comp points, going through tier levels. I went from the lowest tier to uh, seven stars in six weeks by doing this. Um, people are like, well, I didn't win tonight. And I'm like, you didn't take home money, but you got that free car lease for a year because you got top tiers at Boyd Gaming, right? Yeah? No? So that's why I talk about goals being more than just take home money because you know, entertainment's huge. Um, yeah. Uh, oh, yes, yes, yes. Um, is it Gene Scott that wrote Comp City? Uh, I need to review more books on my website. Uh, she's the queen of comps. I think she's getting pretty darn close to retiring at this point. She's in Las Vegas. Um, and uh, Jean Scott. And my goodness, uh, she just, you know, it's, it, she's like me on slots winning, but it, but she does comps, just comps. And it's not necessarily for slots, but for table games as well. Um, hello, Michael. Uh and uh, Gene Scott, uh, you know, talks a lot about how to make the most of, of comps. Um, yeah. Uh, um, so what are we, what else we got? Do you have other questions? Um, I can uh, sort of go from there, check to see if there's any particular topic I didn't properly fully cover. But we are here uh, to um, uh, discuss, you know, your questions about, my videos or articles if you off, get off of YouTube. It's always hard for, for people to sort of get off of the platform. I don't ask people on Facebook to go to another location unless, um, you know, I'm very specific about coming here or going to my webpage, a particular article. Um, so it's, you know, I don't want to <laughs> make you work and, and go uh, someplace else like off Facebook. Uh, so the Facebook videos that I've made, and it's not one for every... It's not one for every uh, article that I have um, yet. Eventually, uh, is you know I do I do have this one on um, uh, how to cycle and and how to choose slot machines and all the stuff that we've been discussing lately. One of the things I would like to do, um, one of the things I thought I would be able to do earlier this year, but the um, focus on the pandemic for a couple months. Uh, um, uh, Ridden with Jake, I think I got that right. Um, <clears throat> uh, so he he asks, uh, I guess he um, first time here. Uh, do you ever play dancing drums? Uh, some of the people have told me about it. Um, it hasn't been available at my local casinos. I'm trying to get out to uh, one of the tribal casinos that's not too far away. I believe they have one, um, but frankly, I don't care. Um, I mean, it's lovely and it's a slots game and all that, but I like to win. And my approach to winning is it doesn't, um, it, uh, uh, my approach to winning doesn't have to do with the game theme. It has to do with the casino business practices and they could um, apply their business practices uh, to which I have an advantage play response to take advantage of it. Um, and so I, I mean, I have a personal preference for Wheel of Fortune, but it's not because you would win on it. It was because I found a slot machine at my casino, the one that I mentioned earlier and the one I've talked about in the past where there's three good machines in a casino and you just have to find them if they have at most three. Um, and I found one that was also a winner, and I just, well, uh, 
two years, I got the top tier in Caesar's Rewards. So while I never had that much money in my hand, um, the first year I spent $885,000 in cycling bankrolls in six weeks. The second year, uh, it was only $175,000 uh, it was after renovations, and I can explain all that in half in the past. Uh, and so, what is that? Two hundred, three hundred, four hundred thousand um, dollars in in nine months, uh, just cycling bankrolls on a wheel of fortune, primarily. Uh, so, I have a certain fondness for it, but I don't recommend it to anybody. Um, I would recommend the specific machine I was playing at, and I can tell you why it was set up to, by the casino to win, but you had to play it a certain way in order to win. So that's what we do here. Um, yeah, uh, yeah. There's there's uh, there's a lot of other people out there, uh, Johnny, um, uh, who cover other topics. But I felt uh, for me that the business, you know, I, I keep on getting pushed to to you know, questions asking me about online slots, and I'm like. What are you even talking about? There's only two states in the country that are approved to do online slots, Pennsylvania and New Jersey. So I just send them to casinotalk.com where, where the, you know, they're monitoring that, monitoring, monitor, monitoring uh, that whole situation. But me, I'm digging into casino gaming, gaming regulations. And if more, more states get online gaming regulations, then I'll, I'll talk about how to win on those. But, you know, my state doesn't have them. So blackjack, uh, you know, have you, uh, I don't think, yeah, um, Mark and Dr. Mike uh, from You Can Bet on That, I don't think they, I think they play back, they, they play back blackjack, but they love craps. Uh, they play poker too. That's how um, Mike told me he makes money is go play poker and take their money. Um, and blackjack is uh, a little bit more social, um, but people get upset with each other. Uh, at the table, just so the rest of the people who are slots enthusiasts uh, know this. Um, and uh, then there's craps where every, everybody kind of wins and loses together, more or less. Uh, so it's they're social. Uh, I'm good with machines. Uh, uh, so uh, Chip is asking. I, I finished the audio version of my of my 206 page uh, soft cover. This is a soft cover. I also have the ebook. It took me a little while to. Um, record and edit to perfection uh the audio version and that came out tuesday or wednesday um and uh i don't get to how this works is somebody else sets the price um they uh determine how much it's going to cost and uh it's usually based on how long it is mine is seven hours and 59 minutes and it's basically the book so if you like audio books uh, it is available on amazon uh, right next to the soft cover, right next to the ebook, and it is the cheaper of the three. Uh, it is thirteen ninety seven. Uh, I believe it's fifteen ninety seven for the ebook, and then seventeen ninety seven for the soft cover because I get charged like three dollars uh, for every print on demand uh, for that. So uh, thank you, Chuck, for bringing that up. Um, if you're a member of one of my slots communities, uh, professorslots.com/fb. Uh, you can join any of my uh, 57 community groups uh, state by state, uh, and I posted there a, a direct link to it. And if, feel free to join. It's private, and you don't have to, uh, you know, uh, it, it's not public, and people like that. Uh, uh, so, uh, Johnny says, I would love to hear that certain way on that Wheel of Fortune machine. I covered in detail in my book, 200 pages. Um, basically, uh, we're using one particular uh, winning slot strategy that I uncovered at that Caesars uh, property. So it might need to be, since I know Caesars does that type of business practice, it might need to be a Wheel of Fortune at a Caesars property, uh, it's your best chance to check it. You know, use a little bit of money, check to see if it's the same things going on. Actually, you don't have to use a little bit of money. Um, what they were doing was uh, because of traffic flow, uh, I got like 30 seconds, um, because of traffic flow, they were uh, setting up better times to win for that particular slot machine because it was in a high visibility area. Uh, and they didn't really realize that 
the consequences of doing that, but for a player to see that there's good times, I would just come back um, one week later, minus five minutes, play through the same time period one week later, uh, uh, and um, that was a good time. Yeah, it was a five, it was a five dollar credit machine, and I would bet fifteen dollars uh, three credits each time. What is the link uh, uh, for the audiobook you mentioned last week? Um, to uh, oh yes, um, I will uh, put that in right now. As soon as I figure out where did I put it, um, uh, da -da -da -dum, da -dum. yeah. So this is the link uh, that I'm doing now. Come on, come on, come on. The last thing I'll do before signing off, uh, just have to wait for, <laughs> turns out that when you're doing a live stream, your internet, your internet connection gets slow. Um, right, so just give me one more second to um, wait for the page to load. There it is. And edit, post, and come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There it is. This should go through, I hope. Um, sometimes it has to be short. All right. Uh, the link is in the live chat, and the link is also in the uh, uh, show notes for the podcast, as well as the description for this video if you want to look it up later. Um, thank you so much for asking, um, and I wish everybody a great day. And as I usually say, have fun, be safe, and make good choices.